And I'm just excited to be here with so many women that have worked so hard to make all those quilts. It's quite an impressive lot there that's going to do a lot of beneficial good for those with cancer and our veterans. What does this mean to you, the quilts? Well, it's very meaningful, uh, obviously, because quilts are, uh, making a quilt is an act of love. Someone has to really uh, put a part of their time and their heart and soul in it, and it's going to go to someone that's uh, needs the quilt, and it's going to make a meaningful message to them as well. And especially in time where they're going through such a hard thing like cancer, the Veterans Hospital up in North Las Vegas that's being built, what is your goal there? Well, actually, um, we want to be there to support the veterans. We want to make sure that they get the funding that they need from the federal government and also from a state and county perspective as well. I know that one of the goals is to put a quilt on every bed there. That is one of the goals, and I think that Perot by itself can absolutely do that as, as well. It seems like we have a lot of talent in Nye County. Why did you come out for the quilts event? You know, I just, I, I miss all my friends down here. I have, I've been in Las Vegas for about five or six months, and I haven't been out to Pahrump in quite a while, and I wanted to come out and visit everybody. And also, this was such a great occasion to uh, encourage more people in Pahrump and the Nye County area to donate their quilts. You know, so many people are very talented here, and it'll make a difference to someone that really needs the covering of love. People don't realize how much this actually means to people who are going through such a hard time, and it really is what you said, an act of love. Tell me about yourself now, a little bit about, I know you're working for NBC, what's that about? Oh, well, I'm doing community and public relations, and I'm also doing some lobbying. And I just came back from Carson City lobbying on behalf of the anti-meth efforts and also for autism. So those are two important causes, just like this is for people with cancer. Wonderful. What a wonderful thing. What's some of your hopes for the future? My hopes are that we can come together, not just as a community in Nye County, but as a state, and really send out a helping hand for those who are in need. Not the handout, but the helping hand, because so many people are hurting. They've lost their homes. They've lost their jobs. With the additional cuts on the state level, we might see a lot more people that are really in need. So we're going to have to really be neighborly and step up to the plate and help each other get through this tough time. And with your autism efforts, what exactly direction are you going in there? Well, we are trying just to hang on to the funding that we were guaranteed under the last administration because we are helping 174 kids. We have 350 on the waiting list. And if you don't continue that treatment, they regress. And, of course, we're talking about changing people's IQ. And when they don't have treatment, some of these kids have gone back 8, 10, 12 IQ points. And we want them to be independent citizens because it'll cost $3 million without treatment. And with a treatment, you know, we're only talking a small amount of money. What's some of your political goals? My political goals is <laughs> right now to just kind of uh, sit back and watch the picture show. You know, we got a mayor's race in Las Vegas that we're all very interested in. And, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting next year. We've got another presidential election. We've got a new open seat in Congress. Dean Heller's left, and he's running for the U.S. Senate. So I'm very interested in watching those races. How can people find out more information about your career and what you're doing? Well, you know, I have a website, dawngibbons.org, or they can contact me through Channel 3, NBC.